Good morning guys, um, it's Monday and it's around 11 a.m. in the morning. Um, today, uh, Yesterday I went to sleep pretty late because I was still editing uh, yesterday's video and I was having a good time doing it um, so I wanted to like finish it and uh, right now it's almost uploaded. Um, so, But I thought whatever I can sleep in tomorrow uh, and usually I would like sleep until 11 or 12 but today I woke up out of nowhere at 8.30 and I was like, huh, how did this happen? Um, and I tried to fall back asleep, but I, I didn't manage to. So then I decided to um, continue reading my book and uh, I finished it. And uh, so it's, uh, I'll give you The Sun by Jenny Nelson. And I absolutely love it so much. Um, it's not the first time that I read it. I read it like uh, two years ago already too. And I already loved it back then. It's just so artsy and soft and deep and beautiful and I just I like poetic and I love it so much um, so I finished that um, and I while I was trying to fall asleep again earlier I had so many more ideas again of like videos I could make and one of the videos uh, video ideas that I came up with was like a morning routine ideas video because usually my morning routine consists of trying to stay in bed for as long as I can before I have to get up to get to my train and then like leaving the house without like like slapping on an outfit and then leaving the house without even eating breakfast which is not like the most healthy thing to do so um, I thought uh, like let's make a video of things that are good to do in the morning and maybe I can give some of you some ideas maybe I can incorporate some of these things into like my actual routine so, um, the first thing that I would recommend to you in the morning is to not check your phone immediately. The best, if you can, uh, like turn off your phone at night. I know many people use it as their alarm and I do it too. But like, uh, as we are in uh, lockdown right now, I don't need to use any alarms. So I turn off my phone at night. Um, but like before you check any, any social media uh, or go online, it's uh, way better for your head and for your mental health also to first do other things for example reading or for example um, writing down in your bullet journal or journal diary notebook whatever um, everything that you have to do that day or that you want to do so that you have like an overview of everything that your day is going to consist of and that can give you like some peace of mind um, and I like to do that. You can also write down dreams if you had any that you remember. Hi guys, I'm back. I took a shower. I have myself some tea here. And um, next thing I want to talk about for your morning routine is choosing an outfit. If you have to get to school, school or work or somewhere early, it can really like help and take away some stress if you pick out your outfit the night before. On slow mornings like this, or mornings where you don't have to be anywhere, I personally find two things very important in my outfits. So first of all, that it's very comfortable. And the second thing is, apart from being comfortable, it also has to be cute, because I really notice for myself that if I don't look cute, I really don't feel cute, and I feel like bad the whole day. For example, yesterday, I just didn't feel uh, beautiful and like my hair was greasy and I was procrastinating to go wash it all day long and I really noticed in myself that if I'm clean if I wear a cute outfit I feel so much better about myself and like my whole day just goes better so apart from being comfortable that's also very important to me that you feel cute even if it's in like a comfy lounge outfit Next up, that what I'm gonna do is uh, choose earrings because I really feel like when I put on earrings, um, I feel more put together. Okay, next up, I'm going to paint my nails because right now they're looking kind of gross. My plan was originally to get them done today, but 
as we all know, we're in lockdown and we can't go outside, so I can't go to the nail salon and I can't go get them like actually done. So I'm going to just do it myself. This also makes me feel put together and that's a good feeling. I painted my nails and that's uh, really good for me for several reasons because um, when I don't have my nails done, I bite them, which is not good, which is not healthy, which is not pretty. Um, so whenever I have no polish on or I have my nails actually done, uh, I can't bite them, so that's um, like a good prevention. And as I also said, it makes me feel uh, like more pretty, more put together. So it's been like two days now that we've been in quarantine and uh, my mom and I are already like making each other crazy a little bit. So the next two things that I'm going to do in this video are to like zen me down a little bit. I'm first going to meditate for 10 minutes. I don't know anything about meditating and I barely do it, but whenever I do it, I try to sit down, close my eyes and just focus on breathing. And I know that my thoughts will come and they will carry me away and then uh, I will always try to uh, be aware of it and then focus back on my breath and do that for 10 minutes and after that uh, I'm going to do some yoga. Hi, um, I ended up changing outfits and now I'm wearing this. Uh, then I got really hungry and it was already like um, 12, 30 or something. So I went to eat breakfast, um, which you just saw in the previous clips. So it's not really morning anymore. So the purpose of this video is kind of defeated, but I still wanted to do like a little yoga montage. So I'm just gonna like flow for a little bit and then uh, then I'll see you in the next video and oh my kids there. Hi. Hi, you wanna come say hi, Sammy? Here's my kitty. Um I'll see you in the next video and have a wonderful day. Bye!